What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448 bringing you another video straight from Upload Studio. And today, I want to give you my first impressions of Guacamelee Sur Super Turbo Championship Edition. And that title is definitely a mouthful. But like I said, this is a first impressions video, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump right into it, tell you what I like about it, tell you what um, I don't like about it, and yeah, so let's get started. Uh, the good. For people who don't know, this was released uh, a couple days ago. It was released with Games With Gold, so as soon as it was released, I was able to get it for free, being um, an Xbox Live Gold member, and that is definitely a good part of my first impressions. Um, it is a platformer. I am a big fan of platformers. I, I absolutely love Max the Curse of Brotherhood. And uh, within this platformer, what makes it unique is the combat system. And I, I will tell you, the combat system is actually, it's, it's really detailed. Um, you don't have to get into every single special ability or anything to take out a bunch of enemies. So it could be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. But I love the ability to kind of wear them down. You see that little Y icon over their head, and you can grab them, and you can throw them around. That's one of my favorite things about this game. I throw enemies absolutely everywhere. Um, the platforming aspect is really cool, too. It's, it's surprisingly uh, difficult in some parts, because uh, you have to jump between what they call the living world and the dead world. And there are some puzzles where, you know, different walls and platforms will show up in each world, and you have to try to figure out how you're getting across to the other side and it's it's surprisingly difficult in some areas but um it never gets really frustrating to me personally uh i'm a, I'm a very patient dude so you know um and there's a real big sense of accomplishment when you actually figure these these puzzles out um uh all in all this game is is, is really cool it's a it's a colorful game i didn't I didn't like the art design at first. I do know that they were trying to go for like a Mexican heritage. You know, with you being a luchador, all of the uh, all of the areas in the maps have s some type of like Mexican type theme, from the deserts to uh, um, the canal and, and whatnot. And you know, it definitely does grow on you. At first, it was it it it, it seemed a little you know kiddish to me or whatever. But um, yeah, it's it it definitely grows on you. Uh, a couple things I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that, you know, when there's a bunch of enemies in a big area, I didn't like how the camera drew back because I kind of lost my character the first few times it did that, and I was getting hit and not even realizing it. Um, but the more and more you play, the more and more you get used to it, and I, and I think, um, I, I think you know, most people will get the hang of it after a while. Uh, another thing I didn't like is the fact that in every single town, you have to talk to everybody because there's little side missions that'll get you little boosts in health and stuff. I'm not a big fan of talking to absolutely everybody in the town, and in this game, it looks like you have to do that. But yeah, these are my first impressions. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but as for now, this is the Xbox 448 signing off.